For the first time in school history, the Carlton Ravens are CIS men's basketball champions. Three straight, four straight, five in a row. Another perfect season and another national championship for the ninth time, the best ever. Last year after the ninth title, I went up to Dave and I said, Dave, I don't think you even realize this, but this is history in the making. We'll look back on this and be just awed at this era. I did some numbers, uh, you know, some months back, and I, and I think I, I saw, you know, their winning percentage at some something like nine over 900 over the past decade. I, you know, I don't know that that's been rivaled throughout the world of basketball really on any level. I mean, it's pretty. Uh, pretty historic. You look at the teams five, six years ago, we were winning by maybe one or two points, right? We were sinking baskets at the buzzer. Stu Turnbull for the win! He got it! He got it! He got it! The Ravens win! Now, over the last couple of years, like we're winning games by 20, 30 points. Um, last year's final was unprecedented. I think it was a record score. It is a 36 point lead. They're always going to be one of the top defensive teams. Their offensive efficiency is always going to be at the top um, you know, of the country. So uh, when you stop people and you score, normally you win. They have set a standard for excellence in, in sport in this country that I think it is very difficult, excellence and longevity, that it's very difficult for any other team in any other team sport to, to match at any point. I mean, when you go back to an earlier era and you see what Ken Shields did at the University of Victoria, I mean, that seemed that that would be absolutely unprecedented and no one would come close. How does this dynasty compare to some of the great basketball dynasties that we've seen, uh, like UVic and the like in the past? In UVic's situation, it was a national training center, so, so players went there, Ken Shields was coach, um, so it was a natural location for top talent because it was a national team training center. What's going on at Carleton now is more impressive and I say that with, uh, with uh, apologies to my good friend Ken Shields. Today that's not the case. We don't have a training center. Um, obviously uh, they're playing professional at the Olympic Games. So it is unique. The other thing that's challenging in this era as compared to the, the UVic era that I think Dave Smart and his, and his team at Carleton have done amazingly well is the lure of the NCAA and the U.S. for Canadian kids, so that exodus to the U.S. over the last 10 to 15 years has just grown ever, ever greater. They had a run and he did, it, did his, his part in our sport at a time when nothing like that had ever been done. And It's easier to copy a model that's already been built and he built the original model, so nothing will be like what, what Ken's done. It's a fair comparison. Clearly, um, obviously his his dominance, I believe, has now surpassed that of Ken Shields in terms of total championships. Comparing me to Ken, is, it's, to me, it's ridiculous. He's a pioneer in our sport. He's had so much influence on so many people, myself included. A ton of respect for Ken Shields and what he's done um, for our country uh, and some of the roots that he laid down. And I think it'll be very interesting to see um, what Dave Smart's impact and that Carlton program's impact will be on basketball in our country over the next 20 years.